Cisco Firepower Traffic Profile is a graph of network traffic measured over a profiling time window represent normal traffic. Any traffic violating normal traffic is suspicious to be abnormal traffic. In policies, correlation, and then traffic profiles, we can configure traffic profiles with different conditions over various profiling time window. There are many options for conditions, including a specific IP subnet, a specific application protocol, a specific web application category, or a specific country, and many other options. Profiling time window is the time in which normal traffic statistic is measured and learned. Sampling rate is the frequency in which traffic statistic is generated and by default is 5 minutes and it can be as long as 1 hour. And inactive times are the times when your traffic profiles are exceptions. For example, when you create a backup of your database and a high rate of traffic is generated in the network during backup time. As examples, I've created three traffic profiles since it takes time to learn traffic pattern and traffic graph. One for the subnet of 192.168.1 and the time window of one hour. Let's check inside. The condition is Either initiator IP or responder IP is in the range of 192.168.1 and for the profiling time window of one hour. The second traffic profile is the same, but for the time window of one day. And the third traffic profile is for web traffic, including HTTP and HTTPS with one day time window. Application protocol is HTTP or HTTPS and the profiling time window is one day. By clicking the graph image beside any traffic profile, traffic profile graph will be shown. As you can see, the mean or the average of traffic rate is displayed in the profiling time window and how traffic rate violate the average over time by a standard deviation one two or three standard deviation let's also check the graph of the other two traffic profile for the same subnet and time window of one day this is the mean and there are deviations and also check traffic profile for web applications. And this is the average traffic rate and deviations from the average rate displayed in the graph. Now we can configure a correlation policy that takes a real-time action to traffic profile changes that violate more than a specific times of a standard deviation. In the last section, we discussed the details of how to implement correlation policy and how to create different actions. In this policy, we will use the IP null root block action that we created in the previous section. In the rule management tab, First, I create the if section of correlation policy in policies, correlation, then rule management, and then create a rule. For example, with the name of traffic underline profile underline change. With the condition of a traffic profile change, 
we can choose one of our traffic profile that we have already created I choose for the subnet 192 168 one and the profiling time window of one hour and also I add a condition if the total byte are greater than or equal to three standard deviation then the source IP will be blocked this is the if section of correlation policy I will block the source IP with adding IP null route in the router in the past the action is configured in the previous section and I will use it again in this section in the policy management create policy traffic profile underline changes underline policy one and add rule traffic profile change is the if section of correlation policy and the action is block source IP which I've created in the previous section update and then save to test the result I will try to download a big file from the internet to generate a traffic rate violating more than three standard deviations I have to also enable the policy I forgot to enable the policy And I will check it again in a few in a few minutes. The graph of traffic profiles changes can be checked in traffic profile graph after I've downloaded a big file through the IPS device. As you can see, the traffic violate three standard deviation. So it's expected that the IP address violating more than three standard deviation will be blocked by correlation policy action module. Let's check it in the router. Show IP route. As you can see, 192, 168, 188 is blocked with the next up of null zero because I've downloaded the big file from 192, 168, 188.